Hey everyone, welcome back. Today's video is kind of a spontaneous video. I was thinking to myself about what are the best shampoos? And I was talking to my clients about what shampoos she should buy and which ones she's tried and that haven't worked for her. And I've noticed a pattern. There's certain shampoos that work for people and there's certain ones that just don't. So today in this video, we're just going to be listing the best shampoos and conditioners that I have found. The worst ones, the ones that I have found over the years have dried out your hair and they have not helped your scalp at all and they haven't helped you grow your hair. And then we're gonna be talking about the ones that are like kind of okay. They're mediocre, they're not that great, but they're okay. Let's get into it. Okay, so you guys know how much I love Hair Story. If you don't know, check out my other videos. I absolutely love Hair Story. It's a cream cleanser, it cleanses your scalp, and then it conditions your ends. Because that's really all we need. When we wash our hair, we want to cleanse our scalp. We wanna remove all the debris and oil and product buildup from our scalp and then leave our ends nourished. We wanna keep all of the moisture on our ends. That's how we help our hair grow because the ends are the driest part of our hair. I find Kevin Murphy and R Co are usually the ones that I recommend the most after Hair Story. Even when I recommend Kevin Murphy, I always say that if you're gonna go with Kevin Murphy, go with the cream cleanser, especially if you have damaged ends, dry ends, ends that are a little bit crispy, maybe you have like a sensitive scalp. The Restore is amazing. It's a cream cleanser and a treatment in one. It cleanses your hair, it conditions your hair, and it's also a leave-in treatment. If you are somebody who likes to suds their hair, you like the lather, and I understand that a lot of people like that and they're very hesitant about about using a cream cleanser, I would recommend you use the Hydrate. The Hydrate line from Kevin Murphy is insane. It's amazing. I do have a full video about Kevin Murphy, the whole Kevin Murphy line. So if you wanna check it out, and I will link it below and I'll pop it up here. The next line that I love is R & Co. R & Co is a really, really beautiful line. It is light, smells beautiful, it smells earthy. It is. It really leaves your hair feeling really, really nice. The Bel Air Shampoo Conditioner Duo, they're really, really, really good. It makes the hair so shiny, it takes away all of the frizz. I've seen my client's hair absolutely transform with the Bel Air. And then there's Amika. I've never personally used Amika in a professional setting, but I have seen my clients who have used it. Like they'll come in and I'll ask them what they're using and they'll say Amika and I'm like, damn, your hair looks good. Okay, so the next list is the worst ones. Like the worst that I wish nobody would ever use again as far as shampoo and conditioner, not the treatment, is Olaplex. Olaplex shampoos make the hair so dry. I have clients coming in with frizzy hair, dry hair, coarse hair, damaged hair, and they're like, I don't know why it's not working. It's lacking luster, it's lacking shine, it's lacking that beautiful brilliance that you should get with a proper shampoo and conditioner that you would get with Kevin Murphy or Hair Story. But I just find like Olaplex makes the hair so dry. As soon as I switch them over to a different brand, then they're like, oh my God, my hair loves this. Your hair should be easy to style and manage. So your shampoo is really, really important. I think they should just stick to the treatments and stop making shampoo. Okay, so Kerastase is another one. I worked at at a salon where we used both Kerastase and Aveda. And they both were like so mediocre that I was like, this feels like it's like drugstore products. A lot of these brands, once they go big, they get diluted. Their performance is just not as good as the smaller brands. So R Co and Kevin Murphy and Hair Story, they are smaller brands. They haven't been bought out by the big giants. So their performance is better. Let's look at makeup, for example. MAC makeup, before it was owned by or bought out by Estee Lauder, the quality was amazing. As soon as they got bought out, everybody noticed the quality decline. Kerastase is a very, very expensive brand. I find for the quality and the performance of its products, the oils that they sell, their serums are very heavy. The only thing that I like from Kerastase is they have this really cool treatment duo. It's a dark blue teal one. You would apply the conditioner first and then you would apply the cleanser. I met someone who used to use that religiously because she was fully blonde, like fully foiled, bleach and tone, and her hair was the healthiest I have ever seen. So the Kerastase line, don't buy anything except that one duo if you do have damaged hair. So the next one is Aveda. Again, I work at a salon that used Aveda and I don't like anything from Aveda. A lot of people used to use a shampooer thinking that it was like the best one and it was green and organic and everything. It dries your hair so bad. I think they had like one oil that I liked. It was like the dark blue one. That was okay. But as a brand, it does nothing for me. Like I would not recommend it to anyone. They do have a whole line for swimming and for UV protection. I might I actually recommend that if you're going on vacation and you want something to protect your hair. Another one that I really don't like, it's Joico. I don't understand it. It's really heavy. It smells like synthetic fragrance. I find it weighs the hair down. When you're using the wrong shampoo and conditioner, you always think it's your hair. It's usually the brand is just not working for you. So try something else. Okay, so the ones that I'm like a little bit iffy about are Moroccan oil. I love Moroccan oil for the smell. Like it smells amazing. I generally recommend Moroccan oil for anyone who has really 
dry, frizzy hair as a last resort after you've tried everything. I haven't seen anyone's hair truly transform using Moroccan oil. Everyone gravitates towards it for the smell. You know, a lot of these brands know what they're doing when they're selling to us. They know that smell is so important to women. As soon as we smell something good, a lot of men too, we smell something nice, we wanna buy it. The Shimmer Shine from Kevin Murphy, literally people do not know how to use this thing. They have no idea what it is or what it does. And yet they're like, what is, what is it? I want it, I want it. And it's just this like, it's like your lizard brain just pops and just goes like, I want it, I want it, give it to me. Moroccan oil is okay, but tread carefully. It can be very heavy because it's full of oil. Their treatment oil is good, but don't use it if you're blonde because it will dull your hair. Another two are Redken and Purology. So they're both owned by L'Oreal. I went to a Redken school. I use all Redken products. It's okay. It's not bad. If you are looking for a starting product, you want to invest in professional products. Redken is not a bad one. It, it's not going to ruin your hair. It's not going to be too heavy unless you're using the really heavy one. That's the gold one that's meant for like really dry hair. But I find like their products are like, they're not bad. They're good. Purology, same thing. It's okay. It's not bad. If you want to invest in something, again, Purology is not a bad one. It's not going to transform your hair, but it's not going to make your hair fall out. I like their detangling spray. It's really, really good. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe and do all of the things because it helps us grow this channel and let me know what you think. Let me know what products are your favorite for you. If you want to stay in touch with me, make sure you sign up to the mailing list. It's all below and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.